Hello, I'm Rob with the B, and today I'm going to show you how to make fire with a pair, with a, with a pair of, with a pair of broken reading glasses. To do this, you're going to want some simple reading glasses, uh, magnifying spectacles, generally bifocals, and prescription glasses aren't going to work. You're also going to need some smoldering ignition tinder. Now, something like a charred rope works very well, but we're assuming you don't have some of that in the wild, so we're going to use something else. Some dry leaves from an ornamental fig tree. And then I'm just going to roll these up in my hands into a tight ball to expose the fine cellulose fibers. Until it looks like that. Oh, sun's teasing us. The glasses I want to use today have a magnification factor of 1.5. What this means is that the focal point is very far away and it's difficult to focus. By comparison, this other pair has a magnification factor of 3. It allows us to get in much closer uh, and the focal point is more concentrated. Ow. So what we're going to do is make a compound lens. If you had a screwdriver or a sharp tip knife, you could do this a bit neater, but it doesn't really matter. So we join these two together and now we have a compound lens. And Bob's your uncle. Double the power, half the focal length. And we wait for the sun again. While we're doing that, I'm just going to clean these. Yeah. Cotton t-shirt works. I have a pair of really dark glasses to protect my eyesight. It helps to put your tinder down on a flat surface and then brace yourself against something solid to keep the hot spot nice and steady. Move the lens around a bit until your focal point is perfectly round and as small as possible. It should also be on the part of the ball directly facing the sun. It might take 10 or 20 seconds before you start seeing smoke. Keep zapping it until you're sure it's smoldering on its own. Which you could see here if it weren't for the autofocus of the camera being confused by the smoke. The next layer of the tinder bundle, our smold, is just a ball of grass cuttings. Rolled up nice and tight. There we go. For flaming tinder I'm using a dry leaf from a strelitzia plant, also called wild banana. The older leaves tend to split like this and it looks like a palm frond. We get it going with some wrist action, then maybe uh, 20 seconds of puffing. There we go, and we have fire. Oonga boonga baby. And remember, when you're playing with the sun, to wear these so that you won't have to wear these. <laughs>